everyone, welcome back to my channel. Well, today I'm sharing some of my Amazon must-haves and these are recent purchases or at least this year um, that I haven't shared and it's um, everything household, no clothing items. So there's just little miscellaneous things here. And I always like to share these type of things because I always think you never know what somebody's looking for. I say that with everything I share. Um, so anyway, let's hurry up and get started. First off are these bowls. It actually comes with a set of four, but I just brought in two so that, you know, I didn't risk breaking them. But you can see they stack up nicely, which I love in the cabinet. What I like about them is the handles. So basically you could have soup, chili out of these. They're great because, you know, I like that you can carry them from the stove because most of the time, you know, if you're making like chili or soup or anything, you know, you have a big pot on the stove and you just dish it out from there and then you can walk over to the table. So you can just hold on to it by the handles and you don't risk getting burned. Like with a regular bowl, you're holding it like this and you may slop it out on the sides possibly. So anyway, I just really like the size of these. They're not like super huge, but I like the tall sides um, and the handles is what totally got me. Love these and I love again, the way they just stack up nicely in the cabinet. So next is something that I don't have here to show you, but I'll put it in a picture and a little bit of video footage. It is my stand-up desk. I love this thing. I bought it back earlier in the year and I talked about getting one for months. Um, my husband has something similar at his work, which he's been working from home though. Um, and he said he really enjoyed it. His was more almost like some kind of thing you put on your desk so that you could raise it up to stand if you want, but you can still sit at your desk. This is an actual stand-up desk. Um, and like for instance, when I film in my closet or different areas around the house, it's great because I can wheel it around, set product on it. I can set my camera on it. Like the other day when I filmed in the closet, I used it. So it's just really great. I like it. Um, it just sits over in a little corner of my office in front of my regular desk and you know, it's out of the way. But again, I like having it just for convenience. And then sometimes if I'm doing a lot of editing, I'll use it because sitting down at the computer for several hours just really bothers my neck and my back. So I like to just be able to have both. All right, talk about random. I mean, that's what Amazon uh, videos are for, right? So this is for razor burn. And I have to say I decanted it into this because mine actually, I think the side got a crack in it or something, but it's actually a roll on, which I really like that method. This works good too. This just has like a little, um, you know, you just push it and a little comes out. But I put it in this because I thought for travel too, that's why it's in a plastic bag. So I have sensitive skin and definitely one of those when, and sorry if the lights change behind me because the sun's on the side of the house today or at this time while I'm filming. Um, I have sensitive skin and shaving around the bikini area. You just get bumps because then you're usually immediately putting on a swimsuit. Well, this has helped wonders. I bought it back like in the spring or early part of the summer, used it like when we'd go on trips or to the pool. And it was just great because I felt like it worked immediately and then you just don't have red bumps or irritation or any of that. Again, I will show a picture here of what the original packaging looks like because it is nice with the roll on, but I found I don't mind using it like that either. I know it's just random, but it was on my list of things I had purchased this year other than clothing items. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to mention it. Maybe somebody's looking for something like that. All right. So my dad turned 80 in May and they were here along with my in-laws for a uh, visit and we had a cake and you know a little celebration. Well, I bought this little happy birthday sign and what I wanted to share obviously you don't need one that says 80 but they had them for other years. I just thought it was such a pretty simple way to put in the cake to dress up the cake because obviously being a male you know I didn't have a lot of flowers or anything on the cake. I'm pretty sure I have a picture of it so if so I'll try to pop it in here and it just looks so pretty on the cake and simple but yet it gave it a little festive and you know something because it was a big milestone birthday and then you could just wipe it off <laughs> and put it back in here if you want to reuse it for something but anyway they had a lot of different ones and looked all kind of different ways and different colors, but I just thought this was a really cute idea. So this is something I use in our guest bathrooms and it actually comes in a two pack, but I only brought one out here. And it's just these little acrylic jars. Again, it comes in a two pack. So if you wanted to use them both in the same bathroom, you could, or you could split them up if you have more than one bathroom. You could put cotton balls, Q-tips. I'm using it for Q-tips. So I just love the size, it has a little lid. I have something similar um, in, 
our bathroom that I use, it actually came with three different sizes, like a large and then a small and a smaller one. I'm not sure if I can find that anymore, but I wanted something like this for the guest bathroom because, you know, I always put like a little lotion and Q-tips and just things to make it nice when people are visiting, things they may need. So anyway, again, I like the size and it comes in a two pack so you could put whatever you wanted in it. All right, next I will uh, show some footage here. This is my steamer. I have loved this thing ever since I purchased it. I have a little travel steamer that I always take with me, but you know, it's small, so you can't put a lot of water in it. And sometimes if I'm doing a try on or just had washed a lot of things that I need to steam, I do still iron, because obviously if you want that crisp look of like, especially a button down shirt or something, you just need to iron. But a lot of things I steam, like dresses and certain tops, I have really loved this steamer. I mean, it holds a ton of water, so you could go through all kinds of clothing, depending on, you know, how much you need in one, um, at one time, but it really is easy to use. I like, I can just hang, you know, the hanger on the side of it and go to town steaming. So this is a nice one. I made sure, like, I read the reviews and everything, and it was, it's been very nice. I've used it countless times. All right, next is on the bed. That are, well, not actually at this moment. I have like four different sheet sets, but it's a pair of sheets from Amazon. And let me tell you, I resisted buying into the hype of the Amazon sheets. You know, the famous sheets that have like, God knows how many, probably 100,000 um, five stars or something. One, I usually don't like that type of sheets. We have sheets like that um, from Costco that are very nice on our guest bedroom. But on our bed, we both typically like a very crisp, nice, 100% cotton sheet. And reason being, we both get a little warm we sleep, but I just like the feel of it. And usually with those types of sheets, they just get softer the more you wash them. Well, I had sheets um, years ago from Target that I absolutely loved and they start getting thin. So I bought another one and they just weren't the same. They changed it, even though they all still say 100% cotton, it's just not the same. They're not as soft. So I thought, you know what? Let me just give in and buy these sheets and see. I have to say, I do really like them. They are super soft. I even asked my husband, I'm like, did you notice the difference in the sheets? He's like, yeah, I think I liked them. However, I'll talk about something here in a minute that I think is what kind of helped. Cause I was always afraid those sheets because just the material and everything would be warm. And again, we don't like to be warm when we sleep. So that leads me into my next thing, which I actually spoke about last, again, sorry for the lighting. I feel like it just keeps blowing out all of a sudden. Um, I talked about in last month's favorites, which I'll link that video below. That is our mattress pad, and that is also from Amazon, and I know several of you have purchased it. Leave me a comment below, let me know what you think of it. I purchased it because it's a cooling mattress pad. Now, it's not gonna be one of those like freezing to the touch, like a gel pillow or those great big thick mattress pads would be, but just enough cooling. And reading the reviews, it sounded like people thought, yeah, it worked. And I liked that it wasn't super thick because I, again, in that video I mentioned, we have a nice mattress. I'm not trying to um, make my bed like super soft because we have a hard mattress or anything like that. So this just gives like a little layer of softness and a little bit of cooling. And I think it works. My husband said he thought it worked. Um, I think the combination of the sheets plus the mattress pad works great. I cannot speak for the sheets without that mattress pad if they're hot or not because I have never used them without the mattress pad. But I have to say, those sheets are incredibly soft. It's just one of those, like I, when I read at night in bed, like I pull my knees up so my feet are flat on the sheet and it's just so soft against your feet. It like, it is really nice. Again, that combination of the mattress pad and the sheets is really good. Um, and you know, and the price on both the mattress pad and the sheets is like four, under $40, I think. We have a king size bed. So have loved both of those. All right, next is my ice roller. I actually keep it in the freezer in um, the little bag that it came in. This is what it looks like. So back earlier in the year, I had um, some IPL laser sessions done and she would use this on my skin in between if it started to get really hot. I have really sensitive skin, it turns red. For me, IPL is painful. Um, and you know, after a while it's just, very irritating and she would whip this out and roll it on my face and it was amazing. It would immediately get rid of the pain and uh, the heat. And then, so what I'll use this for is if I have a headache, especially like sinus headache because my face can often feel hot when I have a sinus headache and just roll it right there across um, 
you know, my brow, oh, it really is great for that. Or if you have migraine or like in your temples. Of course, if your face is like feeling puffy or swollen in the morning, depending on what you ate or drank the night before, it's amazing. So really loving that. All right, these exfoliating gloves. This is like a 10 pack or something. I just put one in the shower, so I'm not sure actually how many are here, but it was cheaper to buy like this many than I've seen sometimes in stores buying one. What I love exfoliating gloves for is I will use a body wash like once or twice a week when I am trying to rub off all the old self tanner before I apply new. So that to me, like I've used something like this for years. I like them way better than a loofah or anything. I just feel like it really exfoliates better. Like these are nice. They're not like they're just scratchy enough, you know? And again, with a nice body wash, I happen to use Dove. I really like that when I'm using these. If not, I just use Dove soap, but um, these are amazing. And again, I didn't need all these. Who knows how long this will last me, but um, you know, I do throw them away ever so often. So, but these are great. I love exfoliating gloves. So that's all my random home Amazon must-haves. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have any of this, if you have any must-haves that you think I need to check out. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!